We talk about your basics, Noob Repair is back. And today, we're going to teach you some interesting little bits about cleaning. Now, we're only going to be talking about cartridges specifically. I'm going to take a cartridge that I worked on previously, which is Mega Man for the NES. And uh, basically what we want to do is showcase how to properly clean a card. But also we're going to tell you a little bit about what are the best ways to kind of go about doing this in the most efficient manner. So I'm going to show you some things that I personally do. And these may help you. It keeps everything nice and neat and organized. So the first thing you want to do is get some Q-tips. Now I recommend going to the grocery store and getting one of these little packs of Q-tips. They're probably about anywhere between 99 cents to like $1.50 or so. And they come with um, Q-tips that come with about like, I don't know, 25 Q-tips, something like that. Uh, now, this is mainly just for storage, safe storage. So that way you're not keeping an entire giant box of Q-tips in your home, which is kind of, you know, I mean, you can keep that upstairs. And then what I do is when I run out of these, I go upstairs and I refill it with the ones that I keep in the bathroom for the Q-tips. So that's what I recommend doing for this. So you're gonna need Q-tips. You're also going to need some of this. Now this is 91% isopropyl alcohol. Uh, this is your bread and butter right here for cleaning carts. Now everybody back in the day used to blow in carts, but this is really how you should be cleaning them. Now you want to disregard the fact that it says do not clean with benzene, thinner, alcohol, or other such solvents. Um, one of the reasons why they may tell you that is if you use completely like like 100% proof it, it, it is pretty strong stuff and they probably just didn't want kids, you know, using that. So, uh, but that is the best way to honestly clue, uh, clean these carts. In fact, when uh, Nintendo and uh, a bunch of third parties started coming out with these cleaning kit solutions for not only the systems but also the games, that's pretty much what the stuff was, was isopropyl alcohol. Now there's different kinds of isopropyl alcohol that you can buy. Uh, there's uh, there's like a 90, this is the 91%, but you can also get like 90%, I think, or maybe I'm wrong about that, 100%, uh, and also uh, 75% or 70%, I can't remember the numbers specifically off the top of my head, but you want to stick with 91%. You want something that is strong enough to clean the carts, uh, but isn't watered down, uh, because water is definitely not recommended to get on these on these games, um, as far as like the inside. So you want to definitely stick with 91% isopropyl alcohol because there's less water in it. So that's what you want to do. You also want to get a little squirt bottle. Um, I recommend something like this. Uh, my favorite color is green, so I decided to get one that was green. I picked this up at IKEA. It was probably about. Mm, I don't know, maybe three bucks, five bucks, something like that. It was really, really cheap. But uh, what you want to do is take your squirt bottle, take one of your Q-tips, and we're going to go ahead and clean Mega Man. So what you want to do, this is how I do it, just so you're not like spraying everywhere, is you take the squirt bottle and you put it to the tip like this. All right. Then what you want to do is gently squeeze the trigger rotate the q-tip a little bit as you're squeezing the trigger. You don't want to get too, too much. All right, then what I recommend doing is just kind of wagging it in the air a little bit just to kind of get it to rub off. And then you take the cart and you just go on the inside on the top, go on the sides, go on the bottom, and Right there. Right across the center. This cart's pretty clean because I did recently play it, but as you can see, it's uh, still a little dirty. You may need to do a second side as well for certain games, but that's pretty much it. This is a nice and easy and quick one. But that's how I clean my carts when I play the games. Um, you also may want to give it a little shake. And as you can see, based on the previous episode for Noob Repair, we didn't we have no shake on this one. So that's pretty much it. This is going to be the easiest way for you to keep things nice and neat and organized. I have a little box downstairs that I keep all my stuff in. 
and uh, it's a very tiny like little almost like jewelry box sort of thing and that's what I keep this in and this and also my memory cards as well and batteries and things like that. Um, I do recommend taking batteries out of whatever you're done using because uh, if you leave them in they are still technically you know that th you could leave the controller on or it could be used so like for example GameCube, WaveBird remotes, uh, your Scoop Super Scope 6 uh, or anything like that that uses battery power definitely take the batteries out and leave them aside because uh, it will cause problems uh, as far as the, the draining of the batteries go it does or could potentially use battery life when you're not intending it to. But that's going to do it for us today folks. Thank you so much for watching New Repair for this special nice and easy cleaning special.